Honestly though, why do these nubs need to be perfectly spaced? It doesn't make any sense. If you're a 500 pound bipedal cow warrior and you bury this in somebody's skull, they're not gonna shake it off because one of the nubs was a few millimeters to the wrong side. What's up guys, and welcome back to Jacksmith. So going into this series, I had no idea how long this game actually was. Like, Flash games are typically known to be multi-hour long experiences, so today, we're gonna pick up the pace a little bit. God knows that princess isn't gonna save herself. Beware Frostfeather. Okay, keep an eye out for some kind of icy archery chicken, <laughs> which makes sense considering we're now in magical Christmas land all of a sudden. Rufus, would you be able to scout ahead and, oh, hey Rufus, I was just gonna ask you to take a look around, see if you could find any water reindeer, fire Santas, no, nothing like that. Wait, would, Santa be an ice type? No, he'd be a fire type, right? There's no way you'd be crawling down chimneys an entire night if fire was super effective against you. <laughs> and Sirloin returns. What can I get for you, my good knight? A spear, very good. Now please move to the right. My magical sign tells me that there's four people with you. I, I know for a fact that you idiots didn't randomly meet each other at my store. What can I get for you? A bow, great, put in your order. Now move to the right. Now the next person should come because I'm trying to pick up the pace here. You guys are really breaking my donkey balls right now. Do I look like the patient understanding type to you idiots? I am gonna stand here hammer in hand doing absolutely nothing until your last friend decides to pull whatever kind of appendage he has out of whatever kind of hole he poops out of and places his order. Of course it would be ball sack pig. What do you want? A sword, of course, move to the right. Now, was that so difficult? One utterly devastating spear coming up for my cow friend. Trust me, okay? My customers absolutely love it when I make jokes about their race. <laughs> also, I said that we would speed things up this episode and we will in the way that I'll edit stuff out that you guys have seen before. I'm still gonna be talking and cracking jokes and wasting time and just completely avoiding the fact that if I get through my day of work faster, I would get extra money. It's just never gonna happen. I will pour a whole lot faster because I saw your comments. There you go, that's one crystal spear that I still don't know how to sharpen. Yeah, nobody left a comment about that. I would imagine the tips are the most important, right? Something like this, maybe? Eh, that's not great. <laughs> I got the tips, okay? That's gotta be what matters most. Ooh, we're facing off against a bunch of ice enemies and I don't have any ice pieces. I should have thought ahead. Okay, well, we'll just make this as strong as possible because this guy is gonna have the most health since it's crystal. Oh, okay, never mind. Wait, we do have a bit of an ice piece. I'm not even looking at the screen straight on, so it's difficult to get it perfect every time, but I will try my best, damn it. <laughs> come on, come on, maybe one awesome won't screw me. Okay, that's perfect. Oh my God, there's so many pieces of these pikes. I need to just stock up on staves. I'm not some kind of staff emporium here. It's driving me nuts. That looks like a goddamn abomination. It looks like it was made by a child. <laughs> but it's fine, okay? It is very strong and like, what, 299% out of 300? I feel pretty good about that. Okay, who's up next? Every now and then, after pouring my blood, sweat, and tears into making the perfect weapon, I sit back and I look at my work and I think to myself, God damn it, that's ugly. I really don't want to give that to somebody, but it's perfectly ugly. So, you know, have fun with that. Then we also have the most vanilla of Moo Moo Spikes. Ooh, there's an unintended dairy joke for you. It's got a bit of a dull spot near the top, but just don't stab anybody with that part. You'll be perfectly fine. I'll even hold back on the ice cream jokes, I swear. Sword was uh, a little crooked near the butt. But I, again, I'm not an adventurer, but I'm pretty sure you're stabbing water enemies with it. So 97% you'll be fine, ball sack pig. Then the bow was nothing to write home about again, but I'm, I'm sure you'll be fine. It, it's flawless. So you guys are all our arm now. Okay, now get the hell away from my store. Fear not, friends. Customers, I'm right behind you. 
I will be more than ready to clean up the spoils of your fight. Also, you guys told me in the last episode that the one and two next to my shots were because I can use hotkeys. And I figured that out, and I was actually doing it, but I wasn't doing it nearly enough. When in all reality, you're right, I should be doing it all the time since I need to be swinging my mouse around wildly underneath these guys to collect all the juicy little insides that they pop out. Water weapons, attack 10 enemies with water They give you so many random little bonuses, I absolutely love it. Okay, kill the icy chicken. That was quick. I feel like I overprepared them. <laughs> At least some of them, right? I overprepared the ones that matter. Sir Loin has a borderline invincible crystal weapon. He took all my materials, so I'm sure he could probably solo this on his own. Yeah, look at that ugly, cheapy thing. Yeah, I don't know what that was, to be perfectly honest. As long as we can clear them all out. Damn, that is one roided out icy chicken. Who's who's fleeing? I don't want to see any fleeing right now. That's not okay. It's it's kind of my fault. Okay, I guess he gave you a crappy weapon. But uh, you know what? You guys are going to open that up and you're going to give me everything inside of it. I'm taking it as payment. It's part of the thing. I, I provide them the tools and then I get some kind of royalties on it. And a whole bunch of experience for some reason. I drove behind them. You can call me the defroster. I didn't even have to write that pun. I love that I say write the joke as if I have some kind of script for these videos. There's always a weird conspiracy in the comments that lets players have scripts. I wish I would love to have a script for this. I would love to know what I'm saying and not have to pull all these stupid puns out of my ass. What do you see, Rufus? Other than matted fur, fire, water, ice. Uh-huh. Okay, a bit of a medley of everything. And then you want a bow? We just unlocked some kind of new bow, didn't we? Yeah, we got the wing bow for a bird. That seems ironic. And it does stone damage. But we're not facing off against any stone enemies. Are stone enemies a thing? Why wouldn't I make the simple bow that does ice damage against the one ice enemy that I have? Oh, come on, I wanna make the cool new thing. I would even settle for a legendary weapon, but of course our feathered freeloading friend in a frock here doesn't have everything I need. He never does. So I'm just gonna bookmark every legendary weapon in my design schematic booklet thingy and then buy anything that you ever have. If you ever have something that I may need, I'll buy it now so that when you're not selling it tomorrow, I should have everything eventually, unless I run out of money. That's probably the disadvantage to talking so much, isn't it? <laughs> Damn it. Well, if that's the case, then I guess we're just gonna have to speed run our way through this day, aren't we? I'm gonna have to make sure not to screw up any weapons or anything I say because there are no do-overs. <laughs> so let's go as quickly as possible. I hate sharpening these things and it's not because it's made of crystal and it's not because I'm using a hammer. It's because it's curved and I screwed it up. Okay, it's fine, it's close enough. Here, here's a little extra health to make sure you don't just keel over with your perfectly crappy weapon. Yeah, you know, we're gonna give you tons of extra awesome, awesome health. That's just awesome. Fine, whatever, take it and get out of my sights. Ooh, 90% hammering. I don't think I've ever been below 90%, that hurts. <laughs> One shield, okay. I've got everything else poured and I don't even have enough materials to make a shield out of anything but copper. Yeah, all right, potato shield coming up. It's your death, I suppose. Careful. Careful, there we go. I get the feeling that you can only survive I don't want to waste that, do I? You can only survive a very short amount of time in these battles with a low quality weapon, especially if it's painted like an ass. Oh my God, I screwed it up. You are so dead. <laughs> oh no, this is what happens when I go fast. <laughs> oh, 99% painting really? That is just debatable. Now, have I got this stretching thing done yet? Oh. I think that was perfect first try. Okay, and then we'll give you a little bit of water on there. We're facing off against water enemies. Uh, I, I don't want to waste that because I want to get the Poseidon bow sooner rather than later. So instead, we'll, we'll give you this thing. Yeah, you give a very plain bow with the most fanciest of butts on it. Great, out the door, take it. A hundred? I'm good at bows. Bows are hard to screw up. <laughs> and then we'll save the pike for last. That's going to take way too long. 
You need to come on up. There we go. Good and good. And oh my god, this is so difficult. Good. Screw it. Take this. This isn't for legendary weapons. Says that anything that isn't bookmarked, they can just take. These two are bookmarked. Fine. You get a vanilla one. I get the feeling I'm setting them up for failure, especially with drops like that. That was not great. Mmm, that's a wonky handle. Sorry about that. <laughs> no time to admire my 99% handle because we have one god awful pike to make. I think I got this figured out. It's end, end, middle, and then up to the top. Kind of, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> Why do I have so many of these handles? I don't know where they're coming from, but I guess it's good. <sighs> I, I really should be spending this stuff that I bought. I get the feeling I am screwing them over here. I'm sending them to their death. I'm not even 100% sure what happens when they die. Ah, when they die, I can't remember. Uh, Good, and how about a little luck? Because you're gonna need it. Wonderful. Don't worry about the fact that it's a little crooked, okay? Just kind of account for it when you're stabbing. Wait, did that just say hundreds across the board? There's no way! I got 31 crystals! <laughs> Quality bonus! I'll take it! Okay, you got it, guys! Don't worry about it! I'm totally gonna waste all my boulders. Oh, wait, I don't have a quantity. It's still a waste, because they're not gonna win. There's no goddamn way. Eh, eh, there we go. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. You guys can do it. I believe in you. How's your health looking? Not too bad. A uh, new enemy, Breeze Burr? Did it say freeze, freeze fur? Okay, I probably should have saved fire for you, shouldn't I? That would have probably made a lot more sense. Wait, what? They're crushing these guys right now. I'm not gonna use fire on him because fire, wait, does fire do damage against fire? I don't know how this game works. It's not like Pokemon as far as I can tell. It's not opposite types. It's the same type does more damage. As far as I can tell, oh, I don't know. Uh, you guys got three more enemies, so try to stick it out. I made a lot of these weapons out of steel. So you should be okay. Uh, gonna bomb this guy for you because he's big and scary. Good, he's burning, he's burning, take him out. If they can kill him before they get a second hit off, we might be fine. Right, things are, that is one big angry fish sheep. <laughs> I regret, no, oh my God, you guys are like the size of his shins. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Wasted that shot, that's a piss off. Okay, what, oh, that was it, that was the boss, that was the end of it. You guys can handle that stupid chest on your own. Wow, that was close. And considering I gave them almost nothing to work with, I'm kind of proud of myself. Not proud of them, proud of myself. And I didn't level up? Wait, what? I always level up. How dare you? Beware Petrahorn. Okay, so that might be why we have the wing bow. I'm perfectly fine with having any excuse to make a new weapon. I just kind of wish that excuse didn't look like it wanted to turn me inside out through my butt. What's up, Rufus? You see any of them? Uh-huh. Okay. Fire, water, and then the angry ones. Got it. <laughs> so here's hoping we have a beautiful bird warrior showing up who wants a wing bow right off the bat. Don't even worry about it. Yeah, we're not facing off against ice enemies, so this is definitely what we need, and we're gonna make it out of crystal. I assume I couldn't make an epic wing bow, could I? I don't think I've unlocked anything like that. We'll focus on this for now. There's plenty more random farm animal warriors showing up, and then maybe we'll make something epic for them, because I get the feeling this is gonna be a bit more of a difficult fight, right? We got seven enemies, only five people. Okay, there we go. Nice molten hot crystal for you, and flawless every single time. Now, how the hell do I straighten something like this? Uh, that's not straight. Oh, what if I use this menu? Right, I'm willing to bet that I'm not supposed to stretch it underneath the menu, so maybe I can just stretch it like that? That, that looks kind of perfect, right? <laughs> and, uh, well, none of these are needed for legendary, so I guess I'll give you this. You're gonna be good against all those water enemies we're gonna face off against. As far as I can tell, that could just go on however. I don't need to be accurate with it. I really do want that Poseidon bow, so we're gonna hold off on using up that arrowhead. Instead, you can just have a typical crappy bronze one, and yeah. Again, another nice fancy fluttery butt for you. Something like, oh my God, my stupid sticky mouse. Beautiful. That, that looks like it's ready to kill just about anything. You enjoy that.
100% on the wing bow. Now, what do you want? An axe? Uh, I may have just unlocked the dire blade. Oh, you had better believe you're getting this. We've got a little bit of time left to our day, and I've made everybody else's crappy weapons. All we need to finish is this dire blade, and it begins with the perfectly made iron axe. Right? Please don't screw this up. Please don't scroll, oh my god, my hands cannot handle this anymore. Up a little bit, that's gotta be good. Like that, and like, oh come on, come, come on. Maybe, I don't know about that one. Something like you, good. Okay, now, needs to be uh, number 10. So that would be you, like this. Good, and then uh, 38, 38, good. Okay, I got it written down because I am never gonna remember all this stuff and I have everything bookmarked, as well as 13. 13, oh, that's a perfect legendary epic weapon. You crafted dire blade plus six moons. Again, I feel like I'm just giving them lucky charms. What do you mean 98% construction? Oh, you can get off my donkey dick <laughs> oh yeah that one i'll admit that one wasn't the greatest and this is a uh, well just a, a little underwhelming built perfectly but not all that exciting i will take however my bonus they must tip me right if i'm quick i can get them out there before the sun goes down for them to die and attack all these stupid warriors then i suppose that makes sense right can we kill you quickly oh yeah you never stood a chance so only gets one attack in, that's what matters most. Then we need to worry about the big guys at the end. You, uh, do I want to use fire against you? Again, I, I need to look this stuff up. Use fire against you, right? Yeah, that seems to have done a whole lot of damage, so use fire against fire. It's not that it does, well, no, it does do fire damage, right? Because we saw it explode and burn underneath him. So it is that the same type of attack does more damage to the same type of creatures. I, I don't know, okay? Like I said, I grew up on Pokemon rules. None of this makes any sense to me, but that didn't do shit against him. I don't think it's because he's stronger. Oh, I should have saved it for you. Oh, crap. Okay, hello. You are big and scary and hurt. Um, Kill him. Kill him now. Kill him, please. There you go. Way to go, Wingbo. I don't even know what the wingbow does, but I feel like it was... Holy crap! <laughs> Look at this! Are you kidding me, wingbow? Get in there! Oh, no. No, no. I don't know if we're gonna... Oh! Wingbow survived. Yes, come on, Crystal Wingbow. You can do this. I'm right there with you, buddy. We, we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! <laughs> Suck it, you giant asshole! <laughs> Victory explosions all over our chest. Don't take that out of context. Oh my god, I am so happy I made one weapon good. <laughs> you see what I mean? The longer the battle goes on, the better ore you need to use. Otherwise, the weapons are just gonna break. It doesn't matter how quickly they kill them. The enemy's always gonna get at least one attack in. New weapon, the pegged mace. I don't want to be installing pegs in a mace. That looks really complicated. <laughs> oh, come on now. What do we got up next, Rufus? Hopefully something that a mace can hit. Uh-huh, fire, water, bunch of random, a whole bunch of random, st oh wait, those are stone enemies. Okay, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Why, hello there! What can I get for you, beefy boy? Okay, you want a mace? I guess we'll go ahead and make our very first mace. You can now craft maces! Did I get a legendary mace? No. I got the spade defense, which I can apparently make. How lovely. One attempt at a pegged mace coming right up! <laughs> what should I make this out of? I kind of want to make winged bows out of crystal because there are a bunch of stone enemies, so we'll make it out of gold. How about that? And I'm gonna make it all right now. I don't, I don't care there are people in line, okay? You should've shown up earlier when I was busy. I'm currently balls deep in a pot full of 
gold. Again, you could take that out of context. It could be a Lucky Charms joke. That's the other thing. A lot of people are leaving comments pointing out puns that I don't even intend to make. It just kind of flows through me as I spout random nonsense. What the hell is this? <laughs> Drag all of the pegs onto the mace head to attach them. Try to arrange them like the picture on the right for maximum power. Are you shitting me right now? How? Oh, no way can I do this effectively. Oh, this just feels awful. You're in my way. I can't see anything and my mouse doesn't want to move. Okay, you know what? We're just going to have to go with close enoughs, I believe. Something like that. And... Oh, man. If I get this flawless, I am going to be dumbfounded because this does not look or feel good. This has to be, are they gonna keep getting more complicated like this? Is it gonna take more and more time? Because I was just getting used to the idea of getting bonus gold at the end of every day. I need to leave a little peaky space between those. That doesn't look right, but nothing really does. Uh, Something like that. It's not even gonna tell me what I get wrong. So in all reality, it's gonna be trial and error. And I'm just gonna be pissing away gold. How is that? You're not gonna tell me, are you? Wonderful. Um. Here, you can have whatever the hell this is on it. Eh, it's perfect. Don't worry about it. And we do have one fire enemy. I'm just gonna make this a really good mace. I would assume that a new weapon is probably pretty strong. Good. And uh, how about a ball sack that gives you <laughs> 10 health like so? It should be flawless. That is an abomination if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I am so sorry, sir. Apparently I did it well, but it is just, you're gonna be laughed at by the enemies. Okay, and you want a pike, and you want a mace, you just go talk cow. Oh my god, there's so many of them, uh-huh. And, oh, so many maces. <laughs> it's gonna take forever. Honestly though, why do these nubs need to be perfectly spaced? It, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> like if you're a 500 pound bipedal cow warrior and you bury this in somebody's skull, they're not gonna shake it off because one of the nubs was a few millimeters to the wrong side. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I, I, I don't care, okay, it's close enough, screw it. <laughs> Here, you can have a lovely staff for that and there you go. I, I, I'm just so over it. <laughs> Take it and get out of my sight. I tried to get through this day as quickly as possible. I actually wanted that bonus and I made all of the weapons, but it just didn't happen. I still ran out of time. I feel like this is only gonna get harder and harder. Yes, I'm sorry I made you all wait. Why did that guy get a little fire bonus? What was that? What is what is this down here? Is this some kind of unlock if I make a certain number of them maybe? That's kind of cool. So, oh, probably like I gain expertise. Now I'm making a better ax. I, I, that's understandable. I, I could take something away from that. <laughs> Good, dead, moving on. Saving the fire for, uh, not a fire enemy, maybe a normal enemy. I think it does less damage against water. Plus they just get whacked right away. <laughs> this is the cow squad with one awkward sheepy goaty guy in the back. You could say he's the black sheep of the crowd. Oh god, you see, it just, it, it flows right through me. <laughs> Kill the birds! <laughs> okay, it's gone. Don't even worry about it. What else do we have? There are stone enemies, right? I'm pretty sure that's what it said. They don't look very stony. If anything, they're bubbling from their arse. How does that make them out of stone? <laughs> okay, all that matters is you guys beat the diamonds out of them, okay? It's very important for my business that you get all of the elements out of these Stupid creatures, axe grinder? What's an axe grinder? Oh, it's a bigger one. It's a bigger one. Of course, oh, of course it is. That hurt a whole lot. Can we kill it before it hits us again? Somebody ran off. Not a problem, okay? You guys could definitely take down this giant fuzzy guy. No, no. I gave you guys the gold and the crystal weapon, so you had better survive. Yes, yes. Oh, hit him, hit him, hit him. Yes. It always comes right down to the wire. I need to make sure not to skimp out on the materials because every time it comes down to who I gave a gold and crystal weapon to. Rufus, I feel like I'm finally learning something here. 
<laughs> Can I please level up for that? Come on, no. I'm not leveling up every time anymore and it's upsetting. New cannonball, repair bomb. Not 100% sure how that works. I would assume whatever we're packing into these cannonballs to fix these things is probably the same thing that turned them into the freakish farm animal warriors that they are. Okay, a couple fire plants, angry goat, fire plants. A whole lot of fire. Ooh, okay, that's good. I like having just one thing to focus on so we can make you some kind of fire mace. Did I, ooh, I got the luck beater. Okay, makes all of my soldiers lucky, but it's made out of copper. Aren't you gonna die in like five seconds? Hey man, whatever blows your goat, okay? If you want a copper mace and you wanna die real quick, then that's your call. I really shouldn't be using that turn of phrase when there are actual goats around here, should I? <laughs> your warrior companion will probably not appreciate that all too much. Oh great, I think I have this down pat actually. You put the first one in the middle, that's the one that's the trickiest. Oh my God, especially when I think I finally have it. And then on the top, you line it up with this part down here and the sides, you line it up with the middle, easy enough. And then you go in between the ones that you've made, good. And then the opposite of the ones that you just placed, makes a lot of sense. And then these you just kind of toss on wherever willy nilly because screw it, there's really no easy way of aligning these up and uh, you got yourself a mace. That actually looked pretty good. I think it had this awkward looking thingy on it and it was a luck based thing. Oh, I got a bunch of luck based ones. I wrote it down, don't worry. It was a uh, 44, this one. So you go like that, good. And the bottom was 30, 30, you? That doesn't look right. Okay, if you say so. I'm gonna give it a bit of a drill, but eh, perfect. That's gotta, yeah, epic weapon, plus five luck for all soldiers. I'm not even 100% sure what luck is. Might be like evasion. I thought I made it perfect, but you're never gonna make it freaking perfect. Okay, you want a sword and you want a sword. It's good, uh, actually fire is uh, good for long swords. Uh, you want an ax and anybody else? I'm gonna get to making weapons if there's nobody else. All right, screw you then. I feel like none of these weapons were made particularly well, even though they still come out 100% regardless. <laughs> I'm just that good, okay? I'm just too hard on myself. But I think we should have an easy enough time, right? All I had to hand out were axes and swords, both of which do extra fire damage, and we're facing off against almost nothing but fire enemies. So you guys should just fly through them. Even if you got your little lucky cow in the back there to help you out. <laughs> Oh, you guys came so close to killing that one in one shot. And I have the heal bomb. I need to remember to use that to, to kill this guy in one shot. Yeah, press three to prepare pack on your troops, which restores some durability to all weapons. Okay, I'll, I'll do that eventually. I don't need to do that right now though, right? They're, they're almost full health. I'll, I'll just wait a little bit, even though the luck charmer in the back is definitely close to dead. You, you can survive one more hit, right, bud? If I just help you guys out, help you kill all these stupid little plants. There we go, Phoenix Hen. That sounds like it's probably uh, worth a quick little heal. Did that do anything? I think that did something. <laughs> I like that they're throwing in different kinds of abilities. It'd be kind of boring if it was just nothing but nuking the enemy all the time. Boar stone. Let me guess, the, the stone, the bubbly stone version of the guy we've seen time and time again. I thought you were supposed to be lucky. Where are you going? <laughs> just runs off, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, hold on, now, uh, did I miss something there? I'll heal you guys in just a sec, now I'll heal you guys, now. It's not all that much health, and in retrospect, I probably shouldn't be holding it because it's got a cooldown. I could have healed them three times throughout this battle. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm just not thinking. They're bomb the crap out of our reward. We get anything good? Probably another epic weapon, I'll take it. Can I please level up? I feel like I'm learning. I feel like I got a whole lot better this episode. So as a reward, I should become party healer. Oh, party heal, like as in the group. That was like party healer as in the nurse at the house party. New weapon, the broad ax and boy is it broad. <laughs> Looks like somebody took the friggin' sliding doors off of a van and sharpened them up on a stick. That's what I like to see. I want more weapons like that, please. Can can you maybe do that for me, Rufus? Uh-huh, we got an ice bee. We got more things. 
Ice snake. Ice sheep. Yeah, it makes a whole lot of sense. A whole lot of ice. Hopefully the broad axe. You want a broad axe, right? Yeah, that, that's something that you would want. Hopefully the broad axe is good against ice. Of course it is. <laughs> Wonderful. And we're going to make it out of crystal because we need you the entire way through. One special first time weapon coming up. How hard can it be to make a broad axe? Right? I make axes all the time. It's probably the same thing, except infinitely more difficult. <laughs> I'll be with you in just a second, okay? I'm furiously... Why don't I get Rufus to do this stuff? What is he doing? Like He just goes for a run and then relaxes. I could really use him in here, doing all this pointless, low-effort work. Holy crap. Uh, Does this go here or here? I don't think that goes there. That, that that looks a little screwed up. It probably goes over here. Like that? I really shouldn't be asking questions as the blacksmith. <laughs> I'm asking the person at the front, does that look good to you? Is that, is that what you want by? You buy? Something like that. And... Eh? Looks pretty broad, at least. Uh, apparently I have another one of these. Yeah, let's give you a bunch of luck. Why not? Screw it. Uh, eh? Perfect. And... What do I want to give? Something, yeah, a strong ice ability like this. Here we go. They pick up so much random stuff that I don't have a great grasp on my inventory. A little bit more health, even though you don't need it. You're going to be the healthiest person in the party. That looks pretty good. I got to say, that might be one of my finer web 98% really. Screw you. I would have much rather preferred the crystal one to be flawless, but I would take a flawless golden broad axe if that was possible. I'm gonna try my very best. We're gonna go for round two. That looks good, right? Probably should have spent a little money on a handle rather than giving you a twig attached to your pure gold axe heads. <laughs> yeah, that's my bad. That That's definitely lazy on my part. I got so many things bookmarked and I can't use any of them, so you get another vanilla piece. Oh, that sucks. It's perfect, though. <laughs> I feel so bad giving this guy nothing. We should be fine, though. That was perfect the whole way through. I refuse to believe that was anything but 100%. What do you mean? I just can't win. <laughs> Ricky, oh, I can't believe that. Here, take a crystal bow. Apparently the short bow is also good against ice, so I'm not too worried about giving them a bunch of crappy, like, low effort weapons, because it should be good against everything, right? Uh, I got three of these. You, you can have one, here. Beautiful, and uh, ooh, that does a whole bunch of damage, and if you're gonna be crystal, then you're gonna be around for a while, we'll give you that. I'm so happy that the arrows are forgiving. Uh, and then, yeah, you can have this as well. You'll be a little bit healthy. Something like that. Wonderful. There we go. That should be good against ice. You should all be good against ice. 100%. We got five ice enemies and five weapons that are inherently good against ice. And I got my bonus. You see, I'm learning. Now, please try your best. I don't know what it is or how it came to be an ice pig, but I want it dead. Okay, it's dead. Good. Moving on to frostbite. Very good. <laughs> Snake, I'll heal you guys every time I can now. I've learned my lesson. They're cruising, right? This doesn't even seem to have been a challenge. Okay, that one's a little big. The last one, always big. Don't forget that. But they murder him. It's just so easy when you have type advantage on your weapons no matter what. Nobody flees. There you go. Victory heals. You're welcome. You thank Rufus for that one. Clear a trail on five days without breaking something. Did I not break any weapons? I'm not, I, I don't even know what happened just then. I got so much stuff that I can't even show it all to me. But you know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Jacksmith, guys. And as always, the reason this is a series is because of your support. The last video was way longer than I would have liked it to been, but people watched it regardless. People really enjoy it, so that's why I'm returning in. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to like this video. Let me know. You've already watched it if you're listening to me, so you've done everything else you could possibly do to see another episode. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.